Oh, hi. It's Rob. And I'm in the, the office downstairs in the basement, you know, down in the basement. Uh, added a few more things. Uh, I've got um, an actual sound speaker system now. It's not anything special, but it's uh, a little bit clearer sound, and that's really nice to be to be working with. Um, Amazon Day today. I got my mattress. I finally got my mattress. It is here. It is on the bed. It is out gassing. Uh, 72 hours of outgassing, but that's okay because I don't have the uh, the topper for it or anything yet. The topper's coming tomorrow, uh, but I will be able to sleep in my own bed maybe this weekend. Ooh. We're going to try it. Uh, right now I'm sleeping up in the guest room, which is next to Mom's, uh, because, you know, if she needs me in the middle of the night or something, she can make noise of some sort and... You know, I'm right there. Uh, Friday, I'm getting these little uh, push-button dealies so she can page me. Um, but I want to move down to the basement and make that my space. I've been working on it. Uh, I got a couple new things. I got a grill today. I got a charcoal grill. It's a Weber. Just a classic Weber grill. Um, I haven't grilled on charcoal in a long time. So... I guess we're gonna try that again. Get used to uh, get used to grill rather than gas or uh, charcoal rather than gas. Uh, had a fun thing happen today with Amazon. I have a package that's supposed to be coming. It's kind of an important one, and it was supposed to arrive today by ten o'clock. And I got an email at about seven thirty saying that. Unfortunately, they are having some problems with the shipping and they will be shipping it as soon as possible. And I looked at the tracking information and sure enough, it hadn't been shipped yet. So I got a uh, bit testy and I, uh, you know, I got on the Amazon customer support and honestly, you know, customer support, it's not their fault. They bear the brunt of a lot of anger and stuff, but I asked some very pointed questions. It's like, where is this? Is it physically there? Is it physically there ready to ship tomorrow? Yes, it is here. It is ready to ship. We have it ready to go. Okay. Because you have delayed this for so long, could you please expedite it? And sure enough, they were able to expedite it to what's the equivalent of uh, second day, which is going to turn out to be Monday. But uh, okay, if they can get it here Monday, I'll be fine. I'm not that desperate for it. Um, but if it doesn't come Monday, they have until Tuesday. Because Wednesday... It looks like I'm going to be able to come back home for a few days. Uh, we found someone to stay with mom. It's a friend of mom's and she's stayed here before. And she said that she's happy to stay here for a few days while I'm gone. Uh, mom is doing pretty good. She's mobile. Um, still not letting her cook because oxygen and stoves are not a good combination. Although it's an electric stove, it's still... Um, but she's probably going to sneak some in while I'm gone because uh, she's mom. I also added a wireless phone so that she can now answer the phone without having to get up from the chair because she couldn't get up from the chair and get to a phone quickly enough to answer it. So this way she can answer her own phone and I don't have to answer it and screen all of her calls because people calling her number are calling her and so far that seems to be working quite well um, let's see what else is there I am considering on getting a snowblower mom doesn't think that it's really necessary because she has a guy that will come plow out the snow but he comes when he's ready. 
she doesn't drive well she doesn't drive anymore but she doesn't drive all that much anyway so she doesn't really understand the no i have to be able to get to places if i need something in an emergency because we're in this kind of emergency situation and so i'm looking at a couple of different snow blowers and i'm looking at possibly getting a combination riding mower snow blower uh, I need to go look at it at some point, but you know, that's, it's a few thousand dollars. Um, we'll look at it and see, but I am, <sighs> I want to be able to get the out when I need to, when there's snowfall, I don't want to wait for some guy to come by in a day or two to get the snow cleared. <clears throat> now there's also the city, which is another thing because we're on the end. I mean, we're technically within the city limits, but it's about as far out as you can get. Uh, and they do plow the road, but they plow it at the end when everybody else is plowed. So that uh, is also a little on the slow side, um, but I don't know. Uh, cooked for mom again tonight. Mac and cheese with some vegetables in it, per her request, along with some spaghetti noodles that were broken into pieces about a half inch to three quarters of an inch long with some spaghetti sauce. Okay. Uh, this morning she had me make her scrambled eggs with leftover pizza chunks and a little bit of hamburger from last night on top of a pancake. She asked. I said, sure, let's do that. So I'm trying to accommodate her tastes and the kind of things that she wants. Uh, the surprise that I tried did not go well. So let's, uh, let's not do that. She did have an episode last night. Um, about 1.30 at night, she felt like she wasn't getting enough breath out. Uh, she felt like there was, you know, like she didn't have the strength to exhale. Uh, so we were a little scared. Turned out she needed to fart. And it was uh, gas pressure that was backing up, pressing on her diaphragm. Farts cure a lot. Um, got more things to do. I am trying to get, I'm trying to take some time to get the apartment, the apartment downstairs together. I have got more cardboard and plastic stuff packaging that is, I'm going to have to take some time and cut the cardboard into smaller pieces and use that was fire starter which is uh, perfectly fine to do uh, they don't really recycle cardboard much here i don't think um, plastic recycling is a little strange they they have a single sort which is nice um, but you know i've got plastic bags of different types of plastic i mean i didn't even oh this is the oven i am seasoning a tiny cast iron pan I think if, if you looked at the previous one, there's a the little cookie pan, <laughs> about a four inch, uh, four inch pan. You have to season it before you can use it. Uh, so gave it a pretty thorough wash and, uh, and just popped it in the oven uh, like two minutes ago. Uh, well, two minutes before I started. And uh, we're going to be seasoning the pan and it's going to take a, a day because it's like, two hours at a time and it's like do it about three times and then I'll have this little little baby cast iron <laughs> cast iron pan it's little tiny widgets on the side uh, but I love cast iron but I got a pan at the hardware store I picked it up it's a it's a ceramic um, copper infused ceramic and it is non-stick Oh, it is a joy to cook in. Uh, I cooked an omelet 
for myself this morning. And it, it just, you know, you do the thing where you take and flip. Yeah. It's, it's built for that, baby. Um, got a crock pot too, so I can do some uh, apple butter. Although I think mom wants to make applesauce with the apples. So, yeah. There's enough apples, we can probably do both. Otherwise, you know, let her make the applesauce and I'll get other apples for the apple butter. Uh, found Aldi and was quite surprised at how really good the stuff looked in there. They had fresh vegetables and they were good quality. So got some carrots. Uh, didn't get much because I was, I went there, for, they had an advertisement for dog beds, these nice orthopedic dog beds for like 15 bucks. I was like, yeah, I can get a couple of dog beds. They didn't have them. They didn't even know about them. It was like, no, I, I don't know. I, I have no clue. So I don't know if that was just a, you know, maybe they had a couple and they sold out really quick or if they just didn't get them or who knows. Uh, so I'll, I'll get some other dog beds. Uh, or I might just bring some from, nah, I'll probably get some here because uh, I'm going to need to bring back some stuff and dogs and the two dogs are not conducive to hauling a lot of equipment luckily i don't need to bring much stuff back uh, weather's getting cold here the warmest thing that i have is a fleece uh, fleece hoodie and it's getting cold enough it's we're gonna freeze soon um, so I'm going to need to get my winter jacket. Hopefully it won't get that cold before I get to come back down. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I need to do during the week that I, I need to be there for, to do, to be for, do. Uh, so I'm taking a couple days during the week and the weekend I kind of want to take the weekend at home. I don't know if I'm going to. I have to be back Monday to, well, you know, the following Monday to uh, take mom to a doctor's appointment. The, the hospice folks are coming tomorrow morning at 10. And we're going to talk about what hospice entails, what they can provide, what they don't provide. Uh, we've already made the decision that uh, we're not going to go to the emergency room if something happens. It's, you know, that's my knee-jerk reaction is let's get you, you know, bundled up. And it's like, no, we're not doing that. Uh, it's a little scary. Uh, I've been playing with the length of the oxygen hose. Turns out that 40 feet is a good length. It allows her to go pretty much anywhere in the house, at least in the upstairs. Uh, she's a little disappointed that she can't drive anywhere. She's, you know, she feels bound to the house at the same point. It's her house. So, uh, starting to dig into the piles of papers and things and sorting through them. It's a very slow process. Uh, I also need to clean out the, her refrigerator there are things in there that I don't even want to guess, um, but that's going to be several hours to take on. Um, she has food everywhere. I mean, she's got the refrigerator in the house. She has another refrigerator outside, which was donated to her by someone. Uh, the one outside isn't jammed full but it's got a lot of stuff in it. The one in the house is just like packed right to the door. Uh, and then she has uh, a small chest freezer outside and a larger stand-up freezer, both of which are full. She will never eat this much food. Um, a lot of it's meat. Some of it, I, I don't know what all of it is, but um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. At some point, it's 
it's I mean it's more than I have room for uh, so I'm probably going to have to end up donating it or some of it's going to have to get tossed because it's probably you know eight nine years old it's been in the freezer in the bottom so I guess we'll find out uh, there's so much that I have to do I don't have time to do it all um, but I'm getting to spend time with mom. I think this weekend I'm going to try to talk her into going through some of the vacation pictures that she has from all of her trips around the world and getting her to talk about those because I think that will kind of brighten her mind a little bit where she can, shot, she can talk about some of her experiences. Uh, if I do, I would like to catch it on video. I don't know that I'm going to be able to. Um, we'll see. It's you know, there's only so much that I can do. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, we're doing okay. Uh, spirits are good, given the circumstances. You know, we're not. The circumstances are that she's going to die, uh, and we both know it. We've been preparing for it for a while. Um, she is, she does not have the energy that she used to, and she went downhill very quickly. And, um, I mean, it's noticeable. There are times when her mind goes off into other places. <clears throat> she also talks very quietly. I think a lot of that's because she doesn't have the breath support, but she will talk to me when I'm in another room. And it's like, I have to come back and say, I didn't hear a word you said. Can you tell me again? And then, you know, she, she tells me, but it's, it's part of being with mom. It's part of being patient. Uh, haven't had to call the doctor. Haven't had to call anyone lately. <clears throat> I will at some point. I've met all the neighbors. They all know that I'm here. They all know what I'm here for. Uh, a couple of them have been gracious enough to bring food and really good food. Mm. You know, it's like mom goes, oh, this is really good. And then I cook something for her and she goes, eh. <laughs> but, you know, her taste buds are not, they're not doing well at all anyway. So, um, I don't know. It's. I have a feeling that it's psychological, that it's just because it's me. Um, I have a pie. I have a peach pie in the freezer. I didn't make it. Uh, but I am probably going to try and surprise her with a little bit of peach pie over the weekend. Um, I guess we'll see from there. I'm finding a lot more stuff in Bemidji. Um, it's been pretty much taking some some part of the day, a couple hours during the day, to go run errands. And some of the errands are mine, some of them are hers. Um, but it's getting to find places in Bemidji, because I haven't been here since 1990. So, you know, coming back 30 th oh, years later, Things have changed, um, but there are some new things. There's a dog park not too far away, so I'll be able to take the puppies and get some romping time in. Uh, of course, it'll be the winter. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it. So I guess, hey guys, till next time, see ya.